That's the only thing about being on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Wake up, <clears throat> gonna be foggy because you're up for higher elevations, and uh, we're getting started here at the northern end of the Blue Ridge Parkway. It's cooler, a lot cooler. Well, I was at yesterday. So bear with us. We'll see what we get into today. I know where I'm going to probably stay the night at down through here. And I'll tell y'all more why and how to get by with it uh, temporarily for one night. Catch y'all on the other side. Like I said, starting in the morning at the northern end. It's gonna be foggy. Here, I'm clean off this a little bit. Ease on down through here till the sun comes out. We'll get some better video for y'all. Bear with us. Right, folks, coming south, the beginning of the parkway is actually on the north side. Mile marker zero there. We're at the nice to park here. And uh, five miles in, you come to the Humpback um, Rocks Visitor Center Farm Museum. It's about life on the on the farm or on the Blue Ridge uh, Mountain Range from 1850s and 1950s. Let me try to zoom in if y'all want to pause and take a read of what it says. You can't see it? I'll take a picture and add it into the video. But this is where you start, start and you want to get your um, get your Blue Ridge Parkway map and get your travel planner uh, here. Tells you about what uh, what mile markers and uh, you know what all is around. How far gas stations and stores are off the parkway at the exits that you come up on. So, uh, always want to grab your planner. Hold on, we'll catch you on the other side. So, the ladies at the uh, knob here come in. Hump knob. Humpback knob. I'm sorry, I'll get it ready in a minute. They come around 8 o'clock. Uh, this is. Um, Actually, I think it's a, it's a weekend, Sunday, so I believe that's where they come in. But you want to be sure to get you one of these, the Blue Ridge Parkway map and the Blue Ridge Parkway travel planner. Like I said, they, they, they tell you what is uh, how far you got to go, uh, the mile markers where the exits are at, and they tell you what's at the exit, uh, how far there are stores or other uh, attractions off the Blue Ridge Parkway. And that's, you know, how I do it. It's going to take me probably a week to do the 400-something miles. I think it's 444. I may be wrong. May be cutting them short there. But uh, it goes all the way from Waynesboro, Virginia, down to Cherokee, North Carolina. Just winds along. Uh, and at some spots, you're actually on top of the Blue Ridge and the, the AT, the Appalachian Trail. It comes in and out of it here in Virginia. And uh, some of it down there in uh, North Carolina. So, um, you know, the temperatures are uh, July here. We're talking in the mid-70s, uh, maybe upper 70s in the daytime, and in the lower 60s, upper 50s at night. So, that's why I say it's 15, 20 degrees cooler up here than it is down there in the valley where you're looking at 80, 80s and 90s. You know, so, uh, and then, you know... Um, some places the nighttime temperatures are only going to be in the 70s. That ain't going to get it for me and my little buddy. Um, you know, I just, you know, I am caught between the severe weather that, that drove me out, out of the west this year and uh, the cold out there, uh, getting down in the 30s and 40s in June, you know, uh, into May and June and uh, into July. It's just crazy. So, um, I believe I'll be okay over here in the Smoky Mountains, the Appalachians, or the uh, yeah, uh, Appalachian Mountains and the uh, Blue Ridge Parkway, the Blue Ridge. 
Uh, my camps are over in Western North Carolina, anyways. That's where I'm going. That's where this ends up for me. So uh, I'm still trying to get doctor's appointments for my knees and my feet. Um, so uh, um, I'll keep you all posted on that. That's another reason why I kind of came back too. Let's get those taken care of. So, uh, but I know October I got uh, his annual checkup, his annual shots, and his three-year rabies shots due. And uh, then I uh, see my primary doctor in September, plus my daughter's birthday in in September. So, um, y'all bear with us. We'll see what else we can get into today. My little buddy Nebo. Catch y'all on the other side. Here we are in my Yankee Horse Ridge parking area, elevation 3,140 feet. It's an old logging railroad up there, you can barely see it in there. Take a picture and try to hold it up for y'all. Back over here in this corner, though, there's a step up to the old railroad right there. I like this spot because of the waterfall. See back in there, there's a waterfall. It runs underneath the railroad track. Yep, every once in a while you come across this. Rare. I'm trying to get a hold of somebody now and get out here. I don't know where they're at. Can I show you the mile posts right there at 54? They're all going to be on the uh, north side as you're heading, uh, you know, on, you know, as you're heading down the Blue Ridge Parkway. As you're coming back the other way, they're going to be on your left. But going down this way, they're going to be on your right. So this is what happens. They've been getting a lot of rain up here, you know, and I've seen where they cleared some trees out of here uh, as I got on this morning. So, like I said, I'm not in no hurry. I'm just going to sit here and see how long it takes. 
We'll keep y'all posted. It amazes me <laughs> watching these people come up here. A couple guys come, they come up here, kick it, <laughs> try to push on it, pull on it. <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, there's some little branches on you, but <laughs> it's <laughs> watching people, you know, trying to figure out how to, how to be in a hurry. <laughs> That's what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> so, that's what we're going to do. This is what this guy's going to do here with his Jeep. Hold on. Hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> this guy's going to do with his Jeep. We're actually going to get out here and try to drag it out the way. <laughs> uh, so anyways, y'all just hang on and watch. See what happens. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He wants out. <laughs> we are going to try to drag this tree out the way. I don't think it's gonna work. I could be wrong. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, it sure works. They're getting it cleared up. This guy in trailer almost backed into me pulling, pulling from this side. <laughs> oh, man. People get in a hurry. The adventure continues. <laughs> Safe travel. Oh, uh, thank you too. That's how they did it. Tore up little pieces on this side, dragged her off to the side. <laughs> you sure got it. Thank you. Here we go. <laughs> Not that I'm in a hurry, but journey continues, adventure continues. Well, I just stopped the park rangers, maintenance people. <laughs> Let them know, you know, you're a little late. About 15 minutes, they got it all worked out. Just the right lane coming south was uh, blocked now, so. And, uh, they sure come out. I called the KOA, let them know it's blocked out here. They didn't want no business block coming in their camp. So, <laughs> enjoy the rest of the day, folks. Let's see what else we can get into fun and exciting on this adventure going down the Blue Ridge Parkway. Here we go. And here it is, Otter Lake. It's a little bit warmer here, elevation 650 feet above sea level. Uh huh. What I'm talking about. You got a dam down at the other end, down over that way. Okay, so walk out there, stand. There's a walking trail that goes around it. Takes you across the old bridge back into another parking area. All right, bear with us.
the peaks of Otter uh, picnic area. Never been back in here. We've been closed of some sort. It's a one way loop around here. So let's check it out. One of my favorite overnight spots here, Bobby the Overlook, around mile post 100. I just like it here, especially for stargazing. One of my favorite stargazing spots. Got a little picnic table on the side, parking lot down there. And on the opposite side of the area is the old cemetery on top of the uh, here where we're at. I'll put the correct name in the video. Yes, there it is. Had pictures of this before. Catch you on the other side. So anyways, here's the cemetery on the other side. That's a small parking lot. Not for one good size, couple size fans to get in here. We all see why I like it. I was going to end the first day right here. I'm going to spend the night here and do what I got to do, maybe. Uh, nice and cool breeze here, man. Hard to believe it's in the 90s down below in the valley. Phew. Yep, that's it. That's a big old tree. That's an old tree right there. You know, I give respect to those pioneers what come through here build a parkway. Catch y'all on the other side. <laughs> 